Hello everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> okay, so you may notice that I'm actually down here, and Havel's not here. Or, at least the guy with Havel. It's because I actually took him out. Uh, the only thing you basically get is his ring. Yeah. Uh, Havel's men wore this ring to express faith, which makes me think that it actually is one of his followers, not actually him. And it allows us to actually wear the night leggings, which uh, not only wear the night leggings, but still have the faster roll with them on. I would, I would wear the uh, chest part as well, but uh, I'm still doing slow rolls with that. Okay, so coming to here, we're in Dark Root Basin. Uh, not gonna do too much in here, mostly because. This isn't really what I was planning on, but if you remember, like way over there, like, right, I don't have it. And I also took off the bow. I just, okay. So if you remember, way over there, that's actually the path that we came in. You can like barely see it, but like, yeah, it's there. Um. I took him out with the, uh, with this, the, uh, you know, <laughs> the, uh, the morning star. Uh, the reason for it was I tried to get the bleed to go off and it worked during a backstab and I did 340 damage and I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't get it on camera because... Recordings fail sometimes, and since this game is constantly updating to the point where you can't, like, go backwards in a save, there was no way for me to actually do that. So, so um, yeah, I can't just go back and show that without restarting my entire save file, and I'm not going to restart after the pretty good bit of luck that I got with the... with the uh, Taurus Demon. So, now that we've done that, uh, we should probably rest here. Uh, upon running back, the dragon showed back up, so I don't think I'm going to be able to just run across again. the tail there yep okay so we're gonna have to go back down this way hadn't even moved his weapon yet and I still got him There we go. <laughs> I just love the ragdoll in this game, it's so good. Is it only one? Ooh, might have been only one. Okay, I wait for him to attack first. Got him. Okay, stand in the doorway. The other one should approach. Now get this one. Was in hiding. Ah, uh, dang it. Huh. But I just needed to get around to get to the... To get to the other bonfire. Anyway, so... Oof. 
That was pretty crunchy audio there, game. Okay, let's level up some stuff. Um, kind of want to put up endurance, but I think I would rather do this to just level to level that was off. Okay. Okay, left. Um, just being down here basically makes him go away. So, first things first, before we take on the Black Knight. We have to take out this guy. And the reason is... Is that he will actually walk up the staircase if we... Um, to follow us if we don't. Don't we, Mr. Boar? I'm gonna deal with you in a bit. So, uh, you'll instantly notice that this guy has a bigger sword. But just because he has a bigger sword doesn't mean it he's harder to parry. Just means he has different windows. see that move in my practice. That one's new. Yeah, you want to be careful because he will follow you down the stairs. So, uh, when he's got you trapped on the stairs, the best thing to do it's just to slowly walk him down into the, uh, into the open. Okay. Okay. Got him. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm gonna just heal. This is not the first time um, that I've had to fight him by leading him down here, but is the it's the it's oddly enough the most nerve-wracking time that I've done so. Ooh. Uh, I'm running out of Estus. Okay, got it. Tight night chunk. There we go. Rest at bonfire. First hollowing. Actually, now that I think about it, you should probably kindle every bonfire you get you sit at. It's gonna reduce my. Uh... It's definitely gonna reduce my. 
my item discovery, but uh, right now, not really too worried. Okay. So, uh, didn't really explain what was going on there, but that giant boar just uh, charged at us, and I didn't want to be in its way. <laughs> So, um, the only part of his body that isn't defensive is the spot where his tail is coming out of. So, we're going to need to take out the, the archer guys. Okay, knocked one down. Perfect. The helmet. Okay, so one of the tactics for taking him out is to throw one of these skulls that I just got into the fire. I'm like... Uh-oh. Uh, a little bit too late now. Um, but I'm actually looking to get a rare armor drop from him. Okay, it didn't appear. Um, there were going to be other ways to get it later on. Oh well. Uh, you can actually get the piece of armor that protects its head as a as a helmet. Okay, how much of this set do we actually have now? Okay, we just need the arms left. I keep pressing the wrong button. Right now, while there we actually need the brigand. No, I was using the leather. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if I could actually put on the entire chain set. Nope. Uh, yeah. Able to wear that though. Uh, it's a little bit more defensive. Might as well. To uh, kind of change it up a little bit. Okay, so our next goal is to actually get past 
this guy who when saw us coming he actually closed it off because there's the uh, little switch right there lever whatever I'm like, wait a second. So yeah, um, actually a pretty good ambush in this game. Okay. There we go. So you can't actually roll through the tables, you have to hit them to break them. Whoops. Yeah, they're a little bit too sturdy for rolls, you have to break them apart as so. The mystery key. We're gonna need that <clears throat> for our quest. <laughs> Was even looking at him. Okay, so. This item over here is kind of precarious. As you can see, as you can see, this game is well programmed. You know, uh, with Havel's ring, I actually thought I was going to be able to wear the full Brigand set. And I am. I'm actually able to do it, but it's like, it's like I kind of don't. Head wrap's kind of weird. Not really uh, my taste. Then again, I've always been really partial to the whole other set. Uh. So. So yeah, I'll just be wearing the leather set for the rest. Uh, unfortunately, there's no hat. Which, ironically, uh, Dark Souls 2 actually remedied that situation where they basically said that... Uh, that a random hat in the game... <clears throat> yeah, that a random hat in the game had, uh, was part of the hunter set. This being, uh, the hunter set. There he is. We need this guy's sword. There we go. His armor's good. I like the cape. I would much rather have his armor. Sorry. Much rather have his sword, please. Eh, maybe next time. Night shield. Uh. Heavier. Doesn't defend against fire or lightning as well. But it's pretty stable. But then again, it's actually because the, uh... It's only by, like, one point. Magic is by ten. Yeah, not worth it. 
it, it's it was worth it in in my other file that was that was kind of like uh, testing some things out on because I didn't have the master key. Oh, I forgot that. Uh. Oh well. Okay, chase me. Okay, I need his sword. Nope. For some reason, this guy is really strong, and I don't know why. It looked like he just put down his weapon and then it just walked up to him. It's pretty good. Uh, the ragdoll in this game will forever not be funny. Well, forever not be unfunny. There, now my, now my weird syntax works. I pressed a little bit too soon. Basement key. Uh I completely forget what forget what that unlocks. So we have two more chances. Ooh, Halberd. Sixteen. Need two more. Come on. Nope. Oh, hey, third guy. I think this one has a rapier and not a, uh... no, he has it. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Nope. Last chance. I also need your shield. That's beside the point. <sighs> I guess I'll go home with neither. Yeah, so we've actually made it back. So, gonna quickly take out the three guys over here. Ugh. I was gonna say I need the arm parts, but then I'm like, is there an arm part? <laughs> Just like, I'm looking at that armor, I'm like, I don't think there's an arm part. You know? Okay. So now we've made it back. Uh, we've encountered the Balder Knights, which I'm gonna need their sword. Uh, I thought it was the Claymore that I needed. But the clear war is actually for something else. Kindle this one. Uh, 
Okay. I have the repair box. I have the bombless box. I do not have the armor or weaponsmith box. Which I believe he sells. Uh, purchase. Yes. We are going to need that 20,000 for the Crest of Artorias, but definitely not right now. He also sells the arrows. How about I just get three more, top that back off. Uh, feather arrows. I don't think there are many ways to get them. Standard arrows, and then wooden arrows, and then large arrows. Oh, it goes wooden, standard, then large. Okay. I was wondering how that went. Uh, pair, sure. That was doing a lot of work. Okay. Reinforce weapon. Uh, I kind of don't want to reinforce anything. I kind of want to get the, uh, want to kind of get the Balder Knights, uh, the big guys with the capes. I want to get their sword and then upgrade that instead. So, uh, for the next little bit, I'm going to be fighting those guys and trying to get their armor. Oh, sorry, not armor. <laughs> Because I, I think you can actually get their armor in a different way besides just off of them. So I will try to do that. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.